we're going to hit just the topic of what is subsurface drainage. So the easiest way of doing that is looking at this, uh, this visual here. So you've got crop growing, you got a little rain, you got a waterway. Um, and that, that's essentially what subsurface drainage is. If you, if you think of your land as a sponge, um, that's essentially what it is. And when you incorporate subsurface drainage, that sponge is constantly being squeezed and it's getting rid of that excess moisture. Without that sponge and you have a heavy rain event, you're going to have surface runoff. You're going to lose all your nitrates or your nutrients uh, into the waterway system. So as you see here, uh, you have a waterway. You have a conveyance line, which is uh, a lot of times called your main or your sub main. That's normally six inch all the way up to 15 inch, your dual wall, those types of things. Your capture line, which would be your laterals. A lot of times that's three inch, four inch, or possibly even five inch if you're in that geographical area. So when you're starting to look at these types of things, the, the main question we receive is, well, how do I size the conveyance line or the main? And what should I do for lateral sizes? So all that comes down to is spacing, depth, and I guess I'll back it up a little bit more. That, that uh, incorporates what your soil type is. So if you have sandier ground, you're able to um, spread those lines out uh, to go from, say, 60 feet. You can, you can spread that out to 100 feet and go three feet depth. Uh, if you have harder clay, you might be narrowing that up to, to 30 foot centers and you might be able to utilize three inch depending on how long those lines are and stuff. So as you can kind of see here right above where it says capture, there's got a, a hoop of what that water uh, table looks like. That's how water draws into your tile. So if you kind of reverse that, um, it's a it's a V. So the, the deeper you go, the wider spacing you can have. The closer together that V tightens up, you, you have to go, or if you're shallower, you have to be tighter. So that's those are, I guess, the quick way of explaining, should I use three inch, four inch, uh, what kind of main. So when you're talking about the, the sub main or the main, that's when you're talking about how many acres, drainage coefficient, there's a lot of different factors. And if you want me to dive down that, uh, throw that in the chat box, because mm -hmm. uh, like I said, there's a lot of different uh, functions that go into sizing your laterals and your mains. But the goal of the whole system is to lower that water table um, 10 to 12 inches below the surface in the first 24 hours, and then 12 to 18 inches in 48 hours. And once again, all you're trying to do is get rid of that excess moisture so throughout this whole presentation, just picture your ground as that sponge and with subsurface drainage that that sponge is being constantly squeezed and it's going to stay damp. So you're going to keep that plant available water, but you're getting rid of that excess moisture.